Hello everyone, I am Kavin Krishna Prasad from Informatica GCS. Today we are going to see about Glossary Association in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is what is a Glossary Association, what are all the ways to achieve Glossary Association, Glossary Association through the Clare recommendation, followed by that we have a demonstration on Glossary Association capabilities in CDGC. Glossary Association is associating the Glossary term with the technical data to provide a business norm and description to the technical asset which will help the business user to understand more about the technical asset. In CDGC, glossary terms can be associated only to the data element which is a column and to the data set which is a table. Now we will see what are all the ways to associate a glossary to the technical element. Glossary association can be achieved using two ways. One is through the manual way where the user has to go to the respective technical assert in data governance and catalog tool then associate glossary by selecting click here to add glossary assert. This is a straightforward approach by the manual way. And the next is through the Clare recommendation which is an AI model to tag glossary term to the technical assert. Next we are going to see more about Clare recommendation in CDGC. Clare recommendation is an AI recommendation to identify the business term to the technical data based on the capabilities of AI. Clare recommendation suggests or curate the business term based on the column or table name of the technical assert. To use this feature, enable glossary association while configuring the catalog source in metadata command center. If you want the glossary term to be automatically associated with the column or table, then click on enable auto acceptance option under the glossary association tab. This will automatically curate the glossary term based on the confidence score provided in the configuration page. If the match percentage is greater than or equal to the acceptance score, then the particular glossary will be automatically associated to the technical assert. Now let's see how glossary association work with the Clare recommendation in CDGC. Navigate to metadata command center. We can configure glossary association to the existing catalog source and also to the new catalog source. Since the glossary association runs on the metadata, so the metadata needs to be imported into CDGC in order to perform the glossary association. Navigate to configurations. Under the configurations, we can find a section called glossary association. Click on the check checkbox to enable the job. Here, there is an option to enable or disable auto acceptance of glossary term to the technical assert. If the auto acceptance functionality is enabled and if the glossary term matches with the technical asset more than the confidence score, the glossary term will be automatically associated to the technical assert. These curations will be performed based on the table or column name with the glossary term. If you don't want, if you don't want auto curation but you wanted to see the Clara recommendation for the glossary term to the technical assert, then uncheck the enable auto acceptance. Now let's see how the auto acceptance works. Let, later on we'll see how Clara recommendation works without auto acceptance. The default auto acceptance score will be 90%. You can increase or decrease based on your requirement. Once the configurations are done, click on save. Now click on run. Since it is an existing catalog source and already metadata imported into CDGC, let me run only glossary association job. If it is a new catalog source, then metadata extraction job also needs to be run along with the glossary association job. Click on run. So now the job has been triggered. This will take some time. Let's wait. Now the job is completed. Here we can see the list of glossaries evaluated and inferred as part of this job. Now let's navigate to the data governance and catalog. Let me search for the catalog source. Navigate to one of the column. Let me scroll down. So under the glossary section, we can see three business term is automatically associated to the technical assert. Since we have selected enable auto acceptance, so this business term matches to the technical assert more than the 90% that is the confidence score. So this is how enable auto acceptance works along with the Clara recommendation. Now let's see how Clara recommendation work without auto curation. 
for that navigate back to metadata command center catalog source so here uncheck enable auto acceptance so now the expectation here is once the job is completed the list of curated business terms should be shown as the recommendation and the decision will be taken by the governance user so now click on save and run the glossary association job now the job is triggered let's wait till it complete the job is completed let's navigate back to the data governance and catalog refresh the same asset here we can see the list of business term which are associated before now listed in the recommendation section the governance user can decide which business term needs to be associated and the business term needs to be declined if the user clicks on business term here we can see four options accept will associate the business term to the column and will not add it as a business name decline will move this recommended business term to the decline state accept and save and business name option will associate business term to the technical element as well as the business term as a business name to it accept and decline other clara recommendation will associate the business term to the technical element and move remaining business term to the decline state let me accept this and decline other clara recommendation now the accepted business term was curated and the remaining business term went to the declined state this is how glossary association works in cdgc you can refer to the following documentation for more information we would love to hear from you you can give your feedback or concern through the link which is displayed on the screen thank you have a nice day